Oh, oh. They brought the Goon Squad. Me? I'm getting locked up? Welcome back, everybody, to Planet Boo for the Virginia series. Episode 5. It's your boy Boo repping Planet Boo, and I'm ready to get back into some action. I don't know about you. All right, so where we left off on the last episode, we were searching for Agent Halperin. We had a little, I don't want to call it a scuffle, but she disagreed with our snooping around. She dipped on us. We went back. We found her locket. We're trying to track her down. And this is her apartment. Miss J Ortega. Three Bravo. This is intense. I don't know what's going to happen when we open this door. But let's get ready to rumble. Three Bravo. Here we come. Oh, you knocking? I thought you was busting it down. Listen, you're going to have to bust it down. This music wouldn't be like this if you didn't have to bust it down. The door is not ajar. Listen, listen. What is going on? Lock picking skill 100. That's how you lock a pick. That's how you pick lock. Not lock a pick. That's how you pick lock. <laughs> All right, seems pretty chill in here. This is where she failed to cook me a good breakfast, messed up my eggs. We will never forgive her for that. But let's just uh, investigate the area before we just start running down the halls into the rooms. Never know what kind of clues we can pick up because I'm pretty sure this is going to turn into a uh, maybe a little mystery of its own, a little side, a little side mission. I don't know. We'll see. Because what we did to her apparently really hurt her, really damaged her. So who knows what she's capable of now. She's human just like the rest of us. Alright, this is creepy. Who has pictures with just nothing in them? At least put some fake Walmart families in there. Alright, that door is not accessible. There's our gremlin's chair door not accessible this door probably not accessible but the master bedroom is here Major. Hmm. she still got this door padlocks all right so that already told us that we have to interact with that door but let's see what else we got here maybe we could find some clues maybe some foul play or some leads to some strange activity nope all right let's head for the door one of these days she has to finish packing hey you're just gonna have to yank that joint Psh, yank that there we go there we go locksmith <laughs> we breaking all the rules now dead body in the closet i don't know I've been waiting to see what's in here, actually. All right. You guys ready? All right. Let's do it. Hmm. All right. So this seems to be where she does her work and her study. Okay. There's some. What is she doing? I respect her because she got a hookah. But what is she doing? What is this? I don't know how I feel about this. Whenever you gotta lock the door the way she locked it, I got an eerie feeling about this. Something is troubling her, and uh, she has devoted and devoted herself and has made it a priority and obsessed 
over whatever she's trying to do here. This is obsession level. Now I wish, like I, I obviously I recognize the hookah here, but this type of brain stimulus treatment or therapy or all right, we got some some scans here, some readouts. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, Mike D'Antoni. See, she has been doing what I was doing to her. So really, she shouldn't even felt some type of way. Considering what she's been doing. So I wonder if he, Mike D'Antoni, which I'm just calling him the, the FBI director. I don't know if he's actually the director or not, but he's, you know. In a leadership position. But Mike D'Antoni? You scoundrel, boy. What has she got you up for? Oh, baby. This is just getting interesting. She got... Oh, we taking those. Where that bag at? We got some homework to do. We got some homework to do. Internal investigations, IA. Internal affairs, baby. We gotta sneak around with this. We can't be seen. Am I sitting? I'm sitting, so. Hey, how you do? Oh, I guess she has to let me in the office. Now, I better not be no idiot and go talk to this man and be like, oh, look what Halperin's doing. Oh, you nervous? You nervous? What you nervous about? We was about to go rat her out. Was about to have a change of heart? All right, chilling in our Uber. Chilling in our Uber. See, he turned the meter off. The meter ain't going. So he doing us a favor or we switch to Uber at? One of the two. I would like to think he's doing us a favor. Poor favor. What up? Show me something good, somebody. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what those files say. Oh, you're just going to throw it in there? You ain't going to take those files out? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, what's going on here? Where am I going? Where are we going? We are climbing up some higher. Are we back at that Air Force installation? What are we doing? What are we up to? Yeah, we definitely are. N oh! Ooh. They better not block this way off. Yeah, they did. Ooh, we found her. Sup, sup, punk. You know I don't like you. Let me. This is a nice view. I don't even want to talk to her. I really don't like this woman. Uh. Okay, here we go. I think that's the observatory over there. All right, all right let's talk to her. Don't give me that look. You gotta give you gotta give this game so much credit for capturing emotion. Truly incredible, especially with the lack of polygons. Oh, she's like, yeah. And first of all, woman, why have you been in my house? Two, why do you have these files? All right, why were you in my house? She's taking this rather well. Well, that's not very smart. So if those were the files on her that we had, just let everybody know what's going on. Let's just, just throw all that all that information out. I'm pretty sure that has some level of classification for official use only information. Oh, 
Oh shoot, what's going on here? Onward to Saturday. Final day. Oh, well, I hope that doesn't mean that. What are you doing, dream sequence? We had no sexual relations with this man. I did not want the promotion that bad. Talking about Asia and Carver like that. That was a creepy dream. Oh, it's got to be Halperin. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't be getting all crazy. I got to brush my teeth first. Sheesh. Okay, they don't respect that decision. <laughs> all right, well, uh, let me throw some clothes on. Um, but, okay, no, we don't respect that decision. All right, all, okay, I'm coming. Damn. Lucky I have PJs on. My hair is probably a mess right now. Oh, oh. They brought the Goon Squad. Me? I'm getting locked up? This better be a dream. Y'all tripping. Y'all should know. My locksmithing. Is on 100. This ain't nothing for me. Y'all done made a mistake. Oh, they. Mm. He wasn't having any of that. He was having none of that. This punk mother. Ooh. Listen, honey. We getting out of here. You can sit here and take this lane down. But we are getting out of here. I promise you that. So well done. The time moves on. Alright. What type of sorcery do I have up my sleeve? What type of sorcery are we going to show? This is the... Psst. Hey, hey. Let me show you something. Some type of tomfoolery. I'm looking rough. This is not my happiest hour. Not at all. Not at all. Alright. Oh, did I call this? I called this. Psst, hey, come here. Yeah, yeah, you rookie, yeah. Do they appreciate you here? Come on, talk to me. Huh? Okay, what the hell is going on? What do I do, a Jedi mind trick? Oh, what is going on? This makes absolutely no sense to me right now. This has got to be another dream sequence. And what does he have? Is that really the most efficient way? Man, all this space, you can't get an outlet behind your desk, boy. All right, Mike D'Antoni. This is, this makes no sense to me right now. I'm extremely, extremely confused as to what's going on. Why was I locked up in the first place? How did I get out so easy? Why would I pretty much sign my resignation papers? I, I am not completely sure what's going on. Who the hell are you? Why are you waving at me, bro? Uh, I'm trying to make sense of this. Are we going to find Lucas, the missing boy? Like, what is going on right now? Okay. All right. Wait a second. Am I, am I in my PJs? Maybe this is the real. This is me actually waking up now. Yeah. All that didn't happen. This is like, this is like Joker. Joker. 
What? Thank you? Y'all wanna hang out with me? Cool. Appreciate you, Adam Silver. I don't know what to call you. Barack Obama. Look at that emotion. Tell me, are we gonna reseed the NBA teams? Tell me, do you miss us as much as we miss you as President of the United States? And you? Just play your hand, boy. Hmm, what should I do? Should I grab some cards? Should I grab some chips? Should I grab a drink? Uh, let's, let's grab some chips. Good old Lays. There we go. She picked that up like a woman. Good job. Pinky's up, baby. the vomit what who the hell are you man am I about to find love what what the f yo I'm tripping right now I am, yo, what? Are we just bringing everybody down? What's going on? There's the organizational chart, but. So I'm making it up the ranks, obviously. At the at the expense of other people. My psychosis is so I am it is driving me mad. What is going on? I just wanna find Lucas. I don't know how this storyline just went this direction. I just I just wanna find Lucas. All right, so I have made it up. I have weeded everyone out, threw everybody under the bus, and now I am in this position, and now she is where I used to be. This is what I do, I throw people under the bus. Yeah, y'all remember me. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. What's up, honey? Like your hair, like your hair, like your necklace. Shake my hand. You strong. Now I'm having her take out Adam Silver over there. Yeah, look at that booty. <laughs> I like it when you walk away. I hate to see you go, but I love it when you walk away. All right, so now I'm smoking now, just like Mike D'Antoni used to do. Unsolved. Oh, here's Lucas. Oh, man, we haven't forgot about this guy after all this damn time. After I done threw everybody under the bus, now I'm going, what, what am I going to go up to help her for?
Man, this is wild. This story took a wild turn. And, of course, when I was starting to think that none of this was a dream and this stuff actually happened. Now, maybe I was foreshadowing what could possibly happen if I did X, Y, and Z. If we did X, Y, and Z. And it looks like we decided not to do X, Y, and Z. So, I was about to say that. I don't under, I was about to say this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. Interesting. All right. So something we can interact with. Maybe we got to wake her up, get her attention. Here we go. Mirror. What are we going to do here? Mm. Tricks up the sleeves. Tell me about it. Tell me more. That was convenient. Let me guess, it's gonna turn into a red J. All right. Um, all right, GTFO. GTFO, I'm calling it right now. I need to get, I need to get lay off them drugs. I need to stop doing drugs. We are officially tripping. We have officially went to Trip City. And we are having a blast on the second floor of the club. Yeah. We are having a blast on the second floor of the club. No question about it. This is very suspenseful. And I think we are going to end this episode on a ridiculous cliffhanger because there is some crazy activity going on. So that's a wrap for Virginia episode five. As always, my brothers and sisters, if you are enjoying this content and having a great time here on Planet Boo, which you always do, feel free to leave a comment, like, and of course, subscribe. Stay updated and be a part of the experience. And I'm loving every second of this Virginia. It's, it's taking me for a loop. So until next time, folks, be easy.